24 competitive gaming. This is sixes builds. Um, they can be used for threes, but I um, I they're mostly for for sixes because that's what I play the most. So my favorite build is the Dangler build. Um, this Dangler build is kind of easy to cover. Um, it it can be shut down. That therefore I don't think it's probably the best build to use. It's probably the hardest to use in competitive because everyone can just bump you off the puck or like on defense you're pretty much useless if you're going against people that are big that know how to stick handle. But this build is five foot eight, one sixty three. I have the offensive minded and quick first step two for my secondary and marathon man. This is the my main build at the moment, but it I don't think it's the best. I think the best build in the game would be the power forward. This power forward build is six foot two, two fourteen. Um, it can be like changed, like slightly to be a couple, maybe like a couple pounds heavier, up to like two twenties. Um, but I like when there's brute strength on it. Um, brute strength. Where is it? Let's hold on. All right, brute brute strength makes the deking. No, no, it makes the deking go down, but uh, it, it makes the strength go up, the durability go up, and uh, when you have high strength and durability, you tend to hold on to the puck more. Um, and then core balance is pretty much the same thing, but better. It um. Makes your balance go up. Your shooting goes down, but like you don't really notice it. If you're in the right areas, you'll score. So, and then Marathon Man, obviously. I think it's a really good build overall. I think you can substitute Quick First Step in for Brute Strength, either in the first or second slot, but that's my favorite. And then the Playmaker build. This Playmaker build has been used by a lot of top players. Um,. It's only good if you have, I'd say, one big build on your line, because it is a little small, but it can take a hit. Five foot nine, 176, the 30 dangle two, and then quick first step. Um, you got 88 speed, so you are as fast as almost a dangler, and you can um, take a hit, and you got great passing. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good build for uh, top players. Um, I prefer this on wing. Um, this on wing, obviously. This on center, but it can be used on wing, and it's good. Um, another one is uh, the sniper build. Prefer on wing. Uh, this is for pretty much uh, the same as traits, tr same traits as the playmaker. A little bit slower, uh, a little bit bigger, and you can shoot the puck. So it just depends. I'd like. If you're going to run a sniper, make sure you um, have a guy who will hit you. Because it's hard to create offense as a sniper alone. But if you're in the right areas with a sniper shot, it's going in. No matter if, even if the goalie's in position. That's why I like that build. And then the D build. The two-way D-man. D this is used by every single top NHL player. It's this one and the PMD. Um, you got, you got to have defensive minded two and good stick two. And then back skating. The uh, height and weight um, is pretty much set in stone. It can go down to six foot, but um, that's just your opinion. And uh, it's got very good defense awareness, good spoke check, and it's pretty much just a any any build's worst nightmare to go against. The uh, other defense build that I have been seeing is uh, if you want a quicker guy. On defense, like a uh, say, you got a bigger guy like this. You you can have the same exact build, or you can have a little bit quicker guy that actually creates the offense. Five eleven, one seventy, and you got the quick first step, and then you got the IQ two, and then the marathon man. Um, that one is dangerous because it can be uh exploited, like, but it also can mean like they only can go that way, meaning you know what to expect. 
But on offense, it's good because if you have that fourth guy that can enter the zone to help you out during breakouts, it will uh, help your breakouts. But um, another center build that I've seen top players use is a two two way forward, um, one ninety six, six foot one, and then you have the core balance two, and then IQ two, and then marathon man. That's another great center build. Um, another build is the uh, six foot one grinder, two oh nine, wrist shot two, and then. Um, the beast mode trait too, and then marathon man. Um, and then another D build. It's uh, the two way forward I was talking about. The one side smaller. The traits that can you, you go go with this one, and then the traits would be quick first step two, then IQ two, and then back skate. So pretty much the same exact build, but a little bit quicker if you feel it's too slow. But uh. And then for the goalies, um, I don't play goalie, but I looked at uh, the builds that most, the best uh, goalies use, and it's pretty much three builds, and um, they're pretty much similar. The hybrid build, you, they run six foot five, one ninety nine. The primary trait is the quick recovery, and then the secondary is. Uh, down low one, and then cross crease master for the specialty. Um, you pretty much are good at everything other than five holes a little bit shaky. Um, but what can you do about that, really? Um, so, yeah, that build. And then the butterfly, it's more all around, I'd say. Um, you got up high two for the primary, quick recovery two, and then deflection saves. Six foot five, 190. It, I'd, I'd say this one is harder to get used to, but has more top and skill if you get to it. And then the the last one is pretty much a bigger butterfly. You go up to 204. And then you keep the 6 foot 5, but you change this to um rebound control. I think Or five hole, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Uh, quick recovery, I think. A rebound. Where the heck's a rebound? Yeah, never mind. I think it's just. Uh, I think it's just quick recovery, and then. Um, then this is up to. Oh, so let's just switch these. Um. Yeah, it'll be like that, and then cross crease for this one, and that that's another build that they run. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave it below in the comments, and uh, peace.